Hello, my name is Amajit Singh and this is Transformations. I came to this country in the 60s with my parents via India and Nairobi, Kenya in the 60s. At the time there was no Sikhi Gurdwaras or shops or bus drivers or solicitors so it's been a long time this transformation taken but for some reason I would religiously go to the nearest Gurdwara. I wasn't a Gursik, my family aren't practicing Gursiks and there was very little Sikhi at the time so you can imagine what I was up against. Over a period of time the Punjabi culture and the population developed faster and faster and more and more temples began to be erected in my hometown in Wolverhampton and I would religiously, for some reason, I would go and listen to the Keetan, which I didn't understand, and the Bani, but I would just go because I'd, I'd heard the history of Dasme Pacha, Saheb Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji, and some of the things that he achieved in his life and um, for the Khalsa and the Sikh religion. Slowly, slowly, I started to learn about Naam Simran, Seva, Sangat, Dashan, and what a Sikh should be. And I realise now, at this stage of my life, you can live in Britain, be a Sikh, follow Manchester United, listen to Mozart, you know, go to the theatre, and live in the Western society. And I realise, why should I give up my culture? Why should I give up what Satguru fought and died for, for his Sikhs? In other words, the 5Ks and Rath Madriada. It was difficult, giving up a lot of the things that I used to get up to and do, which I now realize are just passing phases. They only give you pleasure momentarily. And eventually I started going to Sarod Sikh temple where I saw more and more sung at the more and more modern day Punjabi Sikhs who speak better English, got better jobs than me. You know, and they, they were accountants and doctors, but they taught me about humility, that being doctors and solicitors is meaningless. That's just for this world and for, to feed our body and our children and our family. And that the real gamai, the real wages are in Seva and Naam Simran. And it rubbed off on me, the Sangat and the, the Chairman and more so the Simran. Slowly, slowly I decided to come on this path, but every now and again I would fall back and say, no, this is difficult or that's difficult. At the time, yeah, it was difficult, but then I left my old society realizing that when I die, that nobody's going to go with me. Not my mom, not my parents, not my family, not my kids. And uh, despite them being my family, I had to come on this path for my own sake to salvage wherever I could. And over the years, I've learned that when I see people who are in the same boat as me, as you can say, or position, I actively encourage them, not by brainwashing them about Guruji or Sangat or Simran, to do voluntary work, whichever, however they can and whenever they can, and just take their time to get there and help them. Because a lot of people have helped me when I've done wrong things or I've fallen back and have encouraged me. And this is what's lacking today in our society. We see a Munna or Apniya Kuriya and the rest of it. Yeah, they're youths. We've all been youths and we've all done what the youths do and what have you. When I look back, how our parents persevered to get us here and how much they achieved through buying land and setting up their homes. One of the things that was missing at the time when they came was Gursiki. And now that it's here, we should, we should embrace it. Embrace it in such a way that we shouldn't look at someone for being a non-Sikh or someone who drinks or smokes because they're not bad people. They can't be bad people if they're coming to the Gurdwara. How do we know what they're doing in their private life or spare time? Or they might be wanting, they might need some fool like me to say, come on, don't worry about it. If you want to talk about Alicia Keys or Bob Marley or, you know, Manchester United or Lady Diana, I've been there. But, you know, when you get the time, do some Simran, Waheguru, 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 Waheguru. Even after taking Umrit, it doesn't stop. I'm not the perfect Sikh. I don't confess to being the perfect Sikh. I'm not going to die and go to heaven because I've taken Umrit or I've done Sangat or Seva. It's just a stepping stone on this spiritual journey of life. 
that will go on even after when I die. But the awareness and the knowledge is immense that you start to realize that you don't need all this, you don't need all this maya, all this materialistic things and all this balle uh, balle shava shava home hankar that it's meaningless because if somebody asks me who's the greatest footballer or artist or the most beautiful woman in the world or the most beautiful tree I would have to say God if that person is so beautiful then how beautiful is God that created me and any of you who have got any doubts and say you can't or this is impossible well impossible is possible Look at Guru Maharaj Dasme Pacha Saib Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji, how they started and how they suffered and how they persevered for the love of humanity and to save another man's religion. And their father was given, sacrificed and so were their, their, their sons and their Sikhs. But the immense effect of what they did, if you took one hair of Maharaj's Pavitra Sis and put it on a scale and balanced it, the whole of humanity could not equal it. I have never known a human being to do what they did and I'm inspired by Guru Gobind Singh Ji and keeping red and marata, stopping drinking if you drink or smoke or eat meat or gamble it's not difficult, it's just willpower and it's meeting the right people and the right Sangat and even when you do meet Sangat doesn't mean they're going to encourage you or help you they will test you, they will knock you back don't think of it as a test by the people that you're with, think of them as the people who are washing your soul, your sins away, they're going to knock you down. Even your own Sikh brothers and sisters in the Sangat, it's a test, it will always be a test. Right till the day I pass over, something or somewhere will tempt me to test me, to break me from Red Mariada and whatever else there is. And in any Pagat, any Guru, if you study their history, they didn't have it laid on a plate, they were tested and tested, tormented and tortured, but they kept on the path. So if you think, well, you know, I can't keep my panj karkar, have a go. That's all you can do. Have a go or I can't keep my red. I can't, you know, live without Kentucky Fried Chicken or, you know, I can't live without. Whatever you can't live without that you're used to, you'll find that someone like me, if I met my old school pals, would say, this is an absolute transformation. This is just, the impossible is possible. Now when I meet my old Sangat, I still feel the same love, even more love in the fact that you know they can get to anywhere they want to if they just try that's all it is if you if you look if you want it desperately you will get it no matter what whether it's education money or finance or even in love or marriage you will get it if you want it desperately and I desperately wanted to do Nam Simran and Seva just to say to Maharaj Guru Gobind Singh Ji that this life was not wasted and in his honor when I do as much Seva I can mainly building work at Sao Road I, I always think that he's with me and one of the one of the things that it, that I re recite is Jatu mere wal hai ta kya motion das. In other words, Maharaj is saying, "Why should I worry when you are with me? You gave me everything when I became your slave. Imagine a slave, a slave that's whipped, beaten, no food, nothing, and the master does whatever he wants with me. Well, that's my Pasha is my master, and he he can do whatever he wants with me because he's given me everything when he gave me. He chose me to be his guru sik." to be his soldier, to be his slave, to be his warrior, to be his saint and through my eyes he sees everybody and I see everybody through his eyes whether they're black, white, Hindu, Christian whatever they do I only see Maharaji because Maharaji is saying hang on Mr. Singh, Amarjit Singh you were like that once so who are you criticizing? why are you looking down on people? and if anybody says that of me and then I'm wrong you know why should I criticize anybody? because anybody can get to where I am and probably further you know, since my time of taking Amrit I've been blessed to do in Seva and Amrit Sal with Pai Sabji, Pai Minda Singh Ji and also recently blessed with doing Seva with um, Divine Onkar Mission who are a charity based in my hometown in Wolverhampton so, you know, the things that I used to do and think about were important they probably still are important but then they will have no bearing or any factor on my life when I pass over I'd like to be judged on the, the good things that I did and not the bad things that I did or I thought that I think that are bad now that are meaningless. They, they were just momentary pleasures, a high when I played hockey or when I had some drink or whatever else I did, only Maharaji knows. So anybody who's out there thinks no, it can't be done, it can. Impossible is possible. Thank you.